Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Today I have another huge empties video for you. It smells so good in here. <laughs> These are all products that I recently used up. I've done quite a few videos like this on my channel and you guys seem to really like them. So as usual, if you want more videos like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so I know and I'll gladly make more for you. So let's just get into the video. We have body care, skin care, hair care, essential oils, everything pretty much in here. So we'll just go through it all and I'll let you know if I would re recommend or repurchase and I'll link everything underneath so you can have more information on it if you're interested. So the first thing in here is this Body Shop Almond Milk and Honey Body um, shower gel for sensitive dry skin. I really loved this. I love the way that it smelled. It smelled like a really light almond honey scent and it was so soothing and hydrating to my dry skin so I really liked this. It's also pH balance and it doesn't strip the skin of its natural moisture barrier so I love that and I would repurchase it. The next is this sponge spongel. It's a little um sponge that you use in the shower that already comes with product in it and it's dermatologist tested it's vegan paraben free cruelty free it's a body wash and a buffer and i really didn't think that i needed this but i got it in i think a boxy lux and i've really been loving it and purchasing it since the sponge is the sponge is quite firm when you first get it and then as you use it it gets puffier and softer and you can also reuse it when you're finished for cleaning and stuff so it has many uses and when you're finished about like I would say seven or eight showers later um, the the buffer doesn't have any more lotion on it so you can add your own shower gel if you want to but it feels so good especially on the body and on the feet so I would repurchase that and I have. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, it works great. It's This is the hint of dark one. It's not too dark for my hair. Um, it smells good, works good and everything. But just from doing some research, just the ingredients aren't that good in this. So I don't think I would purchase a dry shampoo that has bad ingredients again. Just knowing what I know now, just because it's so close to my scalp and stuff. So I've tried some newer um, dry shampoos with like rice powder and stuff in it which is actually good for the hair so I think I'll repurchase the healthier ones just because I don't want all the chemicals on my scalp. The next are two soaps from Bath and Body Works. They are the sugar cookie, citrus sugar cookie which smells so good and the marshmallow pumpkin latte. I love these soaps. I repurchase them all the time. It just It's one of those things that just like makes your bathroom and stuff smells so good and it's such a nice like experience so I would repurchase those and I have. Uh, next is this Amica Soul Food Nourishing Mask. The scent of it is not that great and it's like a thick buttery consistency. I just didn't see enough results with this to repurchase it. Like it didn't seem to wow me in, in any way for my hair so I wouldn't repurchase it. This Kerastase Shine Revealing Shampoo for Color Treated Hair. I agree, it does make your hair really shiny, but I wouldn't pay this amount for a shampoo that just makes my hair shiny, so I wouldn't repurchase that. I would probably try, they have other um, ones for damage and growing your hair long, I'd probably try those instead. Next is this Soy, uh, Fresh Soy Cleanser. Love this, it smells like cucumber and it's so soothing and nice as a cleanser, so I love this and I would repurchase it. Next is this Andalou um, Pumpkin Honey Glycolic Mask. It's okay, I just didn't see enough results to repurchase it, so I wouldn't repurchase that. And I'll link everything underneath if you guys want more information, ingredients and stuff. And then the next is some more teas from Totali Tea, so Sun Fruit and also pajama party so I love the teas from this brand I've mentioned them before and I keep repurchasing and loving them the next is this new strata retinol 0.3% chemical peel overnight peel um, I got this for free from influencer to try and it came in a pack of four and it's so strong you're only supposed to use one a week this was so intense, so I would recommend it if you wanted like an actual peeling, like a chemical peel, but there definitely is downtime with this. Like it makes your skin kind of like elevated and irritated and it starts to peel off and become really dry and sensitive for 
like I would say five days after and then after it reveals more youthful less fine line less um, age spots skin similar to a chemical peel but you have to keep using sunscreen and stuff with it because it makes your skin really sensitive and painful so it all depends if you're looking for something that's similar to a chemical peel from a spa I would recommend this but just know that it does make your skin sensitive and it hurts your skin and peels it and there is downtime so that's one thing to think of next is the brazilian body buff um this was okay it had a really yellow like almost turmeric colored color that kind of stained my skin because i'm so fair so i don't think i'd repurchase this the next is two essential oils from doTERRA um, this is the On Guard. I remember when I first started using doTERRA, I didn't like the scent of this. It's like clove and kind of like a fall pumpkin scent. But now I really love it and I've repurchased multiple. Um, and I always use it, diffuse it like, oh, I've got dog hair on it. I always diffuse it when I feel like I'm getting sick or in cold and flu season or after work or something just to get rid of all the bacteria in the air and I really like it. You can also make a tea with warm water, a couple drops of that, honey and lemon and it's really nice and soothing as well if you feel like you're getting sick. So I love that and would repurchase. This is the Murad um, Environmental Shield Essential Vitamin C Cleanser. I love this and I've purchased this, I've already repurchased it. There's not much scent and it has little beads of vitamin C that just kind of burst on your, they just kind of burst on your skin and um, cleanse your skin really nicely without irritating it. So I love that. The next is the Rocky Mountain Soap Co. Omega-3 Hand Cream. I didn't like this. It's really thick and greasy, doesn't really absorb in my skin. And I just find the next day my skin, like I use it at nighttime and the next day my skin's just as dry. So I wouldn't repurchase that. Next is the Briogeo Scalp Revival. Um, everyone raved about this. It's like a exfoliating shampoo type thing. But I just found with me, because um, I have long thick hair, if I use a scalp scrub, it just kind of, when I use it in the shower, it tangles up my hair and gives me more knots. And it just doesn't seem like it really can get to my scalp and um, exfoliate well. So I don't really, in, I didn't really enjoy it. I don't think I've tried a scalp scrub that worked for me though. So it might just be my hair type. Let me know underneath if you guys have tried it. And the next is this Bite Beauty, Bite Beauty Agave uh, Lip Chop. I really liked this. It melts really easily though and it has a really nice honey kind of scent. It melts easily and you go through it fast, but I did like this as like a natural lip chop. It's just, um, if you have it in your pocket or something and it's warm, it can melt. And the next is this Body Shop Tea Tree Mask. Um, this was okay. It was nice and cooling to the skin, um, but I just didn't find it gave me that great results that, for me to repurchase. And the next is this L'Oreal Infallible eyeliner I've repurchased it already from the drugstore it's really good it's 12 hour wear it doesn't smudge and it's a great thin pencil if you can see it there it's very thin and has a felt tip so it's easy and it's great quality for the drugstore so I would repurchase that and I have and then the last thing is this doTERRA past tense roller um, this one's for headaches and migraines and stuff like that. I don't like the scent, it's very herbally. The scent smells like basil to me, like it's very herbally, but it feels really good on the neck when you have a headache and a head and stuff like that. So I do really like it um, for that reason, but I just don't care for the smell. And then the last thing that I have is this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, just the mini vanilla size. I loved this so much that I repurchased the vanilla scent because it's just like the original but in vanilla and I love vanilla. So that's everything here for my empties. Uh, just like this video if you want more empty videos and let me know underneath what did you guys use up. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye guys.